so damn hot. Passive cooling is a great way to design cool buildings in the true sense of the word. If you are an architect who's working in warm or temperate zones, sit up because in this video I will attempt to explain passive cooling strategies to make you look smart in front of your clients. In less than 90 seconds. Passive cooling is a way to keep the building comfortable by controlling the temperature. Simply put, it's about the balance between two things, minimizing heat gain and maximizing heat loss. As architects, we must employ techniques to ensure the thermal comfort of people living in that space. First, let's talk about heat gain. The building envelope receives a lot of sunlight during daytime. That is what makes the building warm. Building envelope refers to the floors, the walls, the ceilings and windows. In principle, we have to find ways to minimize heat gain through these four elements. Simple strategies include shading windows, walls that are sun facing, using light color on the roofs and walls, or using an insulation layer to reduce direct transfer of heat to the envelope, using buffer zones or intermediate spaces to keep the living and resting spaces protected by direct sunlight. We're right. Now let's talk about heat loss. By maximizing heat loss, we can passively cool down a building. This can be achieved through architectural interventions like orientation and space planning at the start of the project or natural ways like utilizing air movement, evaporative cooling, reflection of radiation and cooling breezes, for example. In other words, we have to find interesting ways to use Number one, envelope design, like playing around with the shape, sizes and placement of windows and placement of masses. Number two, put to use effective air movement throughout the house by putting openings in the right place to allow the entry and exit of air currents. Number three, employ evaporative cooling effects by putting water bodies in front of openings and courtyards. Because we all know that when water evaporates, it draws up large amounts of heat from its environment and as a result makes it cooler. Number four, using heat sink on slabs to allow the space to cool down and lose a lot of heat through the ground. Well, that caps off my review of passive cooling in less than 90 seconds. Done. Well, how did I do on time and content? Please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy content like this, uh, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Design Hustle for more tips and tricks on architecture, design and entrepreneurship. This in, in a simplistic, in a simplistic way.